Hey, hello. My name is Hugh. Welcome to my channel and one of the other projects I'm doing while up at Kevin's workshop. That thumbnail is that piece and it's a chestnut burr. I've had it about three years, maybe four, and it is 19 inches by 14 by 9 and it's a big lump so the first thing you've got to do is try and get the bark off start off with a screwdriver it is coming off rather easily I don't know if I'm going to get anything out of this at all. It depends what is underneath this bark if it's any good. A nice worm. And then an earthworm. Sorry if some of this is out of angle, camera angle, but it's a big one. This is where we're at so far with all of that scrubbed off as you saw with a hand wire brush and the one in the electric drill so this is the other side so what we're now going to try and decide is how far to flatten this so we can get it mounted on the lathe it's not going to be cored um, it's just going to be turned. So, this could be fun, as they say. I'll see you in a sec. Right. One of the things I love about Kevin is his problem solving. And that's what he's come up with. Now, if any of you out there have a clue what he's got in mind at this point, please put it in the comments, because that way I will know because I haven't got a clue <laughs> what he's thinking of. So watch this space and um, we'll see where we go from here. Right, all makes sense to me now. These two are sacrificial. The, what we're trying to do is get this flat. So Kevin's planer or jointer has a 10 inch blade capacity that to there is nine and a half so with these being sacrificial so all it's going to do is guide as we then plane a flap down there and guess who's doing that correct not me so I'll see you in a sec when we're all set up for it So that took about five minutes or so, plus about ten minutes to un find the blockage and unblock it. But look what we find inside. Out 
absolutely gorgeous. This is chestnut, chestnut burr. Okay, so that's the flap that we saw Kevin doing on the jointer just now. It's on a faceplate ring, onto C jaws, onto an evolution. That's K114 Chuck. So that's the back, which is going to be the bowl side, and then this. is what it looks like and I can safely say it's out of balance so this is the most out of balance piece I've ever tried to do anything with uh, but that's another reason I'm up here <laughs> okay See you in a sec. Okay, just to give me a, a bit of a start. So I said I've never turned anything this big before, this out of balance or anything like that. So. Kevin's just going to um, have a quick go at it and he's marked up on the tool rest the start and finishing points for the bit that's closest to the tool rest which is that one there so that's the bit that's got to go first uh, speed will be 250 Speed is now 300. Okay, to get this far, it's taken us 
well over an hour um, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up this burr is absolutely gorgeous there was a bit sticking out here um, which we've had to cut off because it's getting in the way now we've been able to take it any further so but we're hoping to keep this that and just bring the bowl round up to about here that's the plan um, but yeah Kevin's going to take over for a while um, I'm having a break that was the hardest bit of turning I've done so I will uh, hand you back to the capable hands of Kevin for a while I will be back can I just say at this point sorry about the wobbly camera the tripod is on the floor but as you can imagine that is so out of balance that's uh, why we've got a bit of a wobbly camera hope it doesn't spoil it for you Three seven five now. So this is where we are so far, and um, job now, before we take it any further, is to find any soft spots we've got and dig them out. may look drastic but trust me in a minute you can see it's hidden underneath all of this ok here we are so far look at that one inclusion, two, and that big one there. Um, loads of wormholes, as you can see. So, this is the low point of the bowl, of the what will be the face. So, we're going to come across, we'll probably lose some of that. Maybe the top bit of this, but leaving this, and just across the top there. Um, next is going to be putting a foot on this do some sanding and then um, I'm probably going to oil this rather than putting anything else on it so just so we can bring out all those burrs but look at them ok I'll see you in a sec
there you go look at that beautiful so what we're going to do now is sand this flat because if we turned it flat we'd have lost a lot of this and a lot of this here so I'm just going to use a belt sand to sand that flat and then carry on with the rest of the sanding and then put the oil on it There you go. Well, here it is. Chestnut burr. And uh, I think it is stunning. Probably the most favourite piece I've turned. So that's the bowl and the face. But when it comes round to the likes of that inclusion, that inclusion, and that one. Uh, sorry about not showing the finish. I got so excited I forgot to turn the camera on. So yeah, but it was Liberon hard wax oil, which you just paint off with a paintbrush, smooth out any um, runs with paper towel. We left it then overnight and denibbed it with some Niweb and then put another coat of hard wax oil on there left it outside uh, it was a very very warm day so by late afternoon we could take the foot off and finish that as well so it's 12 inches that way 12 inches that way and nearly 4 inches that way I would have put this on the turntable so you could see it turning well I did but it's too heavy for my turntable it wouldn't turn so I'll put some pictures up at the end for you um, anybody who's interested in that my email address is in the description below uh, and just send me an email if you fancy that one because uh, it is going for sale so if you've liked the video sorry it's been a bit long but it was a heck of a lot of work to do Please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, leave a comment. I read them all and I reply to them all. Um, I'm beginning. I'm still getting subscribers. So again, to all you new subscribers, thank you very, very much, Joch and Ariam. Um, and as I say, hopefully, I'll be able to put content out that you like and want to stay with me. All you oldies, the diehards, the originals, as ever, Joss and Ariane as well. Thank you very much. So, yeah, it's as I said, probably my favourite thing I have turned since I started turning again six and a half years ago. Um, it's full of wormholes and, and everything. So I will put pictures up, as I said. So... Um, I'm actually not sure what next week's video is going to be. Um, so, all that's left for me to say is please take care. Please stay safe. I'll see you next Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning. And, hoil!